Dream King Films, we hit the ball of the playmaker, Kyrie Hammonds of the Reigns Vikings. Hey Kyrie, man, real quick, man, just let us know what's been going on with you, man. We all know what's been going on throughout America with the COVID pandemic, everybody quarantined in. Real quick, Kyrie, what's been going on with you? I'm um, just trying to uh, make sure I stay on top of school and just spending time with family and making sure everybody's safe. Yes, sir. Talk about that school, man. We all know spring football was about to get started. Then, like I mentioned, we got hit with the COVID pandemic. Everybody had to homeschool. Y'all had to uh, take a break from football real quick. Just talk about that and how did it affect you? Um, it affected me a little bit uh, because it was like certain subjects are harder for me to learn by myself, but I kind of got through it. And it took a big toll on football because, you know, we couldn't work out either because nothing was open, so we had to wait. But you sat and stay in shape on your own, so I yes, get to it. Yes, sir. Speaking of staying in shape on your own, what did you do to stay on top of your crowd? What did you do to get bigger, better, faster, and stronger? Um, I, I ran, and my, uh, my uncle, he has a, a gym set at his house, so I left the weights over there whenever I could. But most, uh, I just ate healthy, really changed my diet up. Got uh, fast and ready for the season. Yes, sir. Speaking of the season, man, um, June 15th, in a few days, everything finna get kicked back off. Y'all finna hit the field. You say you're ready. Real quick, just talk about that. How ready are you? Um, just like, it's like we, we won a lottery and you just ready to cash your, your ticket in. Like, that ready. Yes, sir. Speaking of winning the lottery, man, y'all got a, a bunch of lottery picks over there at Reigns. Uh, Kareem, Makai, yourself, man. Real quick, just talk about some of that talent y'all got over there. Yeah, my boys, we, 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 we straight. Everybody thought we were gonna drop off with all the scenes, but. No big, no big deal. We um, you know, we loaded. We ready to just play. Yes, sir. Uh, you just picked up a few offers, big time offers. Tennessee, UConn, Cincinnati. Real quick, just talk about that picking up three huge offers within a month span, Kyrie. I feel it's great knowing that uh, someone is looking at you and that they're taking a chance on you. Like I can still get a free education, also play a sport I love. So this film take a, a chance on me uh, so young. And early, just to just appreciate them guys. Yes, sir. Recruitment wise, man, what was different about the process this year versus last year? Uh, like I say, spring was canceled. Y'all had to do everything virtual. Real quick, just walk us through uh, that process, Kyrie. Um, well, last year, we were at uh, play varsity, but I didn't play, get any of the reps. Um, the college coach still came out there and they talked to me, but this year we couldn't really do nothing because, you know, the COVID. So it's kind of shallow. They had to do the real online thing, so they couldn't really see how much I had grown from the season to spring. So, yeah. Yes, sir. How excited you was to get offered by a school like Tennessee, one-time national champion? Um, how excited you was to get offered by them? I got a call, man. I just felt good. It's like, I didn't really know how to react. I lost, I was out of breath. You know, I was just really excited. Kind of like the same question for UConn. They got Matt Drayton on the roster. Uh, he graduated from Reigns. Real quick, just talk about that coach, uh, Ed Saul and his guys um, offering you a scholarship. Yeah, man. I talked to Coach Ed Saul. I was here a lot. I'm going to talk to Coach Ed Saul. That's my boy. Um, he check in with me. We, um, you know, he when he offered me, he told me about Matt and the program and how they move to uh, moving forward. And they have, they got, they land some big commits of uh, Chris Johnson and um, uh, some of it from Episcopal. Yeah, he land some real big commits. And I know he just working, and them guys got something special going on. Yes, sir. Kind of like the same question with Cincinnati. They uh, scooped up a commitment from Miles Montgomery, yeah. big time rusher out of Fletcher High School. Real quick, just talk about picking up an offer from Cincinnati. Uh, he taught he taught me also. He told me about the guys he got. Uh, Miles is nice. He taught me about Maj Sanders. He taught me about um, a lot of them dudes, and it was just great knowing that you know they took a chance on me and that you know I got some potential in me. Yeah, sir. You didn't get a chance to play with Maj at range, but Maj a former defensive end at range. Did you talk to Maj in it um, when you got offered by Cincinnati? Uh, no, sir. Not yet. I'm, I'm, hopefully, when all this blow over, and it allow us to go back up there, who back uh you know, just I hope he can be my. Uh, I want to uh, tour a visit there and chit chat with him. Yes, sir. Uh, Coach Wiley, man, two time state champ. Coach Wiley, he just recently retired. In comes in, um, defensive coordinator coach uh, Donovan Mashline to uh, be the head guy, the new head coach. Real quick, just talk about the relationship with you and Coach Mashline and what y'all got moving forward. Um, the relationship I got with coaches um, is great. You know, I have a relationship with all the coaches. You know, I love them guys, they love me. And we just we just working and it's not really no drop off. Coach Maz knew exactly what he was. I mean, Coach Maz knew exactly what he was doing. And also, Coach Wiley. Coach Wiley knew when it was his time to leave and do what he had to do. That the you know, range program was being good hands. And that's when Coach Maz stepped up. And we just trying to get go from there. Yes, sir. How excited you was for somebody like Coach Maz to get the job and not somebody from the outside to come in? It's just great. It's just tradition. You know, it's like you don't want to mess up tradition. And Coach Maz, he worked really hard. All the coaches worked really hard. And I feel like anything within the program. 
to get head coach would have been great. So as long as it's still in the program and we know what we're doing, we're straight. Yes, sir, Kyrie, before we get out of here, man, Reigns, Vikings, and that's a big deal here in the yeah. city of Jacksonville, throughout the state, you know what I'm saying, as well as throughout the country. Some of the little kids looking up to that program. Real quick, Kyrie, just talk about that and um, tell the little kids how important grades is in the process of uh, being great in life. Yeah, you know, um, don't get caught up in school. And, it's, and like the schoolhouses, they do foolish and don't get caught up in it, you know? And it's uh, the uh, coronavirus, it, it kind of help. It kind of help you uh, take responsibility because you got to stay on your, your work. You're slacking, you go, your grades go drop. So it's really, it's really all, and the coaches stay on you. So, so if you want to um, wanna go to range, just make sure you stay on top of your schoolwork and just ready to ball because it's coming. Yes, yeah, sir. I forgot to ask you, but before we get out of here, Kyrie, the NFL draft, Big Solomon Kenley yeah. from Georgia got drafted by Miami, former guard out of range. Real quick, just uh, how excited you was for Saul to get his name called in the fourth round? Even anybody that played with me was just great because, yeah, alumni and anytime I see anybody from range do something great, uh, I like it. I be sure I do everything because... I support them guys like they play. They play in the same position I was. They're in the same position I am. And I just want everybody from race to succeed no matter what. Yes, sir. Staying with the uh, NFL draft, Shaq Quarterman out of Oak Leaf got picked up by the Jaguars. Uh, just real quick, how cool and how excited you was for Shaq to be picked up by the uh, Jaguars? It was, it was. It was just like a like a um, how I put it, like a fairy tale story, you know. Playing in Oak Leaf, went in Miami, came back to the old time to show out. So you can't. It don't get no better than that, you know. It's family, friends here, you know. You get the ball in front of the people that. You know, so like, it's just great. To, he get the ball in front of his parents, his grandparents. You know, it's just. I feel. I, I'm glad he got. I'm glad he got drafted by Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, sir, Kyrie. Thanks for talking with me. Good luck to your future. All right. Appreciate you.